premiere of amazing short film, Fallen Dreams, and I'm sitting here with the producer of the film and the lead actor and director of the film. Producer is uh, Vance Alexanderson and Erica Bergsmith. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> How are you feeling about the premiere today? Super um, excited. Yeah, it's a, it's a private screening because we're going to do the whole festival circuit and then we will premiere it in, you know, sometimes during 2020. But I'm super excited because it's the first time we are screening it to anyone tonight. Exciting. So and exciting. the film is about, you mentioned it's about related to Me Too movement. Give us a quick catch up. What's it? Um, it's, it's related to it, but we haven't gone um, hardcore sort of into it. Um, it's about a dancer who gets, uh, you know, the chance of a lifetime, but at what cost? So then you will see what happens. Um, we have sort of taken on, um, taken things from our own experiences in the industry, and built the story, the story of that. Yeah. And the experience you had, you mentioned you were an actress, actress before you started yeah. doing photography, mm -hmm. and your experience. The dancer. Yeah. So. My background is in dancing and modeling and from traveling around the world, going on auditions, events and being in situations uh, that can be quite uncomfortable and as a young woman in the industry sometimes, as it's known, uh, can be pretty hard sometimes and with the whole purpose of the film was to highlight the real purpose which is that individuals and men needs to take the responsibility for the change. But the whole Me Too movement mm -hmm. has gone to an extreme and we want to take it back a little mm -hmm. to make men, especially men, mm -hmm. listen again mm -hmm. so that they're not scared and feeling accused. So there's mm -hmm. no men bashing um, and it's about yeah. men and women supporting each other and highlighting that we all take responsibility and uh, we should look to the, indiv in, in the, the individual who mm. will need to make the change. And it's more like raising awareness as well, the fact that you can talk about these things. Now, nothing need, you know, needs to be brushed under the carpet, yeah. but it's okay to talk about these things, and it's all right, yeah. and, you know, and that's what we wanted to do. And also <laughs> to, that it's acceptable now to not be quiet as a woman when something happens, yeah. that you can call out what's happening and it's not right. And that's what the, we yes. want to mm -hmm. we want to make a change. Yeah, and it's a 12-minute short film. Yes. Yeah, and we have here an actor from the film as well, Yay. Jack Hello, McAvoy. Hello, how are you? My Hi, Jack. Actor. How are you doing? Jack. Who plays one of the leads? So tell me, Jack, how did you find the experience? Uh, the experience was, um, and this is not the old. Uh, oh, we all got along from day one. Um, it was like that. Yeah. Uh, Coming from film sets where it was, you know, big machines like, you know, Vikings and these productions, uh, rhythm section. Um, something about going back to collaborating with friends um, that actually just, you know, I, I can't express how fun the entire process was. Like, there was never a dull moment. Um, we are all such close, you know, friends and know how that... There's never any kind of uh, disagreement, and if there is, it's kind of butt on the head, and then that's that. You know what I mean? And that's the most important thing, I think, when you collaborate with, you know, artists uh, that are friends and and the like, uh, that you can say, oh, that's terrible. Can we do it this way? Yeah, and you just get on with it. And it was, it was honestly, it was one of the best experiences I've had in a long time um, to just see where it came from, because um, I was there at the first meeting when uh, when the two ladies proposed the idea to Thomas, uh, their original idea. Um, and just to watch it grow, I mean, this thing, well, how, was it, how long was it cooking? Almost a year and a bit, almost? No, six months. Six months, oh, yes. felt like a year and a bit. Yeah. Um, but I'm just incredibly proud. Uh, ten months, yeah, ten months, yeah. And Tom, sorry, Thomas is our lovely man who, who wrote the, the script. So he took uh, the story and made it into a script. So and I'm just so proud of everyone. Um, again, I'm, I'm here with all the cliches, like, oh, lovey-dovey. But no, I'm so proud of everyone because, you know, uh, a fancy never acted before, incredible performance, or I'm looking forward to seeing it now, but on set at least it was, uh, and, a, and a true professional to work with. I mean, you know, uh, you just were on it, and uh, Erica, getting back into the directing game as well. It was, it was really endearing for everyone. It, it was kind of like this coming of age for, you know, fancy that and acted, you getting back into directing. You know, it was, it was mm -hmm. uh, that experience was incredible. Um, so yeah, I'm really grateful f uh, to everyone that was involved, and... Uh, no, thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this now. Well, Great. very exciting. Let's go watch it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yay. And here's Dave. Thank you, guys. <laughs> That's it.
um, Fallen Dreams. We've got here cast and director of Fallen Dreams, short film. Uh, Erica Bergsmith is the director of the film. Uh, Kimberly Wyatt, yes. actress, and Laura Whitmore. Hi, Hello, how are Laura. You? I'm very well, thank you. How are good, you? Good, thank you very much. How are you all feeling today? About the premiere. It's exciting. Just so excited to see it all come together. It's great to be with the cast again and I love the story it was so relevant and interesting and deep and it was just lovely to be a part of it really. So it's a bit of a Me Too film, yes. or maybe not a bit. So what are your thoughts about the Me Too and the uh, harassment within the industry and all this news that came out recently? Well I'm very much a part of that industry. I've been a dancer, came up in LA. I've, I've seen a lot, I've experienced yeah. a lot. So when I read this script, it felt really close to my heart. And I felt like it's, like I said, it's so relevant and a story that needs to be told. And, and sort of a warning sign for loads of girls out there that want to enter into the dance world or the performing world and just, you know, be aware of your surroundings yes. and be strong enough and confident enough to use your voice when needed. Excellent. Use your voice. And how about you? Tell me how you're feeling today. Um, yeah, I think it's exciting to be here. Um, Erica is incredible to work with, all the cast. I think we had a great time, especially when everyone was in a scene together. That's always the most exciting part. Um, and yeah, I think the, the storyline, the topic is so apt for now. Um, I think this industry, it's not necessarily about victims, it's about resilience. Um, and there's yeah. a lot of strong women in the industry um, who have to go through a lot of shit. Um, uh, and yeah, I think it's about looking to the positives throughout all this negativity, but it's a, it's a very strong, uh, strong message. And how did you find being part of the film? Yeah, it was set? great, my sister. Uh, I was like, my sister is hot. Um, <laughs> I was like, shit. Um, uh, but, uh, but but it's um yeah this <laughs> is the family my Swedish family but yeah it was just great great to be on set and and I don't think people even people might even realize like, like Kimberly was like really pregnant like that was like really heavily yeah. pregnant um and and to kind of do that and the emotion that I don't know what scenes there's a lot of because people forget how long it takes to film even a short scene and the amount of emotion that you put into one particular scene I remember watching and to be heavily pregnant and do all that is just exceptional yeah. and everyone everyone kind of gave everything it was the first time I I'd ever met Fancy and I was like oh my god this actress is incredible not knowing it was like her first time doing it I thought she's been doing it for years Thank you. It was an amazing yeah. time like working with all of you. Like no matter like where you are in your career, like coming from dancing or presenting or dancing as well. You know, it's just like you were all like amazing. Like I was blown away by everyone's performances. I really was. So I'm so lucky. Yeah. And happy. acting while pregnant, how did you did you like draw anything from it? Do you think it changed you? It made you kind of tell her to cross her legs during the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. We were, we were. Yeah. Well, I think being her. a mother in general puts a lot of things into perspective. Yeah. I've got two young girls. I just have a little boy who's eight weeks old now. And I think being able to flex your emotional self through the, the crazy hormonal emotions that you have to be yeah. able to have yeah. told such a story with that, it, I, I felt like it really brought what was needed. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, we're all looking forward to the screening. I've not seen the film. You've, you've seen it. Have you seen the film? No, not really. I've seen like no. bits of it, but not actually. Well, no. Now. Well, we're looking forward to it. Let's go. Yeah? Done? Uh, and I also heard that the very first screening you had was with Richard Branson. What was that all about? Yeah, so the first time that we worked really, you know, hard on this and everyone involved have put in their the, the passion and time and effort uh, and I was invited to go to Necker Island on Richard Branson's private island in the Caribbean. Thanks for that invite as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, it's like that. Well, I'm, I'm only the director. <laughs> so I thought that was a great opportunity to show the film and I hadn't even shown it for any friends, any family members, it's just been us, you know, yeah. who, who really working on it. I said, okay, I'm going to show this for for Sir Richard, uh, and he saw it, he took the time, even though it was a busy time uh, for his event, and he said, no, of course, I'm going to see your film, and he sat down with his coffee cup and watched it, and it was amazing that the first time, yeah, and the first time <laughs> we showing it is for Richard Branson in his private island, which is a unique so thing for right? me as a debut producer also, so, yeah. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> what did he say? What, did, what was his reaction? You know, you were like, no, he said it was intense and he was like really focused the whole time. And he said that he wants to watch it again where he can have, you know, even more of a proper time to, to focus on sitting and probably on the big screen as well. Yeah. yeah, we were definitely inviting him to come watch it uh, in Cannes Film Festival. That's the goal. Yeah. All right. Girls, you're coming to Cannes Film Festival then? I mean, uh, France, I'm already there. Bonjour. It's bonjour, locked in my bonjour, diary. Bonjour, We're ready yes. to go. Bonjour, 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 and uh, très bien. Mwah. See you, everyone in Camden. Thank you. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs>